Hey guys, it's Shu from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning 2018 video, and welcome to the top five pulls of the week for the week ending in July 1st. We had a ton of submissions this week. We're going to start with our honorable mentions. I might go through them a little more quickly than I normally do because there are quite literally 18 honorable mentions. Might seem like a lot, but there's a lot more than just those 18. So let's get right into things. First off from D read 22 is the FIP Goma is worth 1.15 billion along with the award winners Jose Altuve worth 532 million. Then from Creative Blackout, the career high Mike Trout part of a five card group worth 2.5 billion from Sir underscore Tucci 18. There's a career high Cole Hamels career high Francisco Rodriguez and contract you Eric Hosmer, part of a five card grouping worth 2.045 billion coins. From Kelvin123.shum, the award winners Justin Turner, worth 885 million. From Jules12135, a war Andrew Miller, worth 1.076 billion. From Trevor underscore 15 underscore Red Sox, a career high CC Sabathia worth 1.377 billion. From Hunter 3Z5, a career high Jose Altuve worth 1.83 billion. From Ethan underscore N underscore Boland, a career high Chase Utley worth 1.79 billion. From Thomas underscore 8500, a war Yadier Molina worth 616 million. From Matthew underscore Welsh 9, a war AJ Ellis worth 591 million from D ship 12 underscore a career high Matt Holiday worth 939 million from Josh one baseball a career high Brett Gardner with 1.17 billion from USC fan 14 a contract year Shin Su Chu worth 575 million from William a contract year J.D. Martinez worth $779 million. From Admin Ruiz, I hope I got that username right. A career high Joey Votto worth $1.3 billion. From Siv Nick, a contract year Masahiro Tanaka worth $1.6 billion. From Darwin, a career high Phil Hughes worth $590 million. And from The Mortar, five war cards, all in the 88 to 90 range, worth just around 2 billion coins. Now that I'm through the honorable mentions, we're on to money packs. These are packs that are confirmed either through the honesty of users or through some pretty basic thinking as packs where money was spent. That being said, these all had really, really good pulls. So I guess I ranked these from four to one. And then I do have a top five of what I fully believe is free packs. So we'll start off with the money packs at number four from Chewy. Three career high pulls highlighted by the career high David Robertson worth 5.7 million. The total value 6.76 billion. At number three from Zeegs, also three career high players. He had that career high David Robertson. He also had the career high Andrew Miller. Combined value 10.22 billion. At number two, some of these world's best players. This came from D. Reed at 22 as well. He had the Liam Hendricks and the Carlos Correa, both 92 overalls, which is on the lower end for the promo, but the combined value, $11.7 billion. And at number one from Cade.Rutz, he got four world's best players. The 92, Jose Quintana, but then a 94, Aroldis Chapman, a 94 Felix Hernandez, and a 95 Bryce Harper. 35.76 billion coins worth of cards. And the 94s and 95 are all very nice pulls. And now we're on to the top five for free packs. Starting with number five from Thomas 15 Baseball. He got a career high Matt Kemp worth 2.74 billion coins. At number four... The Schimpf plays and how about underscore that both had the same pull as a one card pull. Career high Jake Arietta, 3.78 billion coins. At number three, from Creative Blackout, you got both a war Dellen Batansis and a war Corey Seeger as part of a five card group 
valued at 5.57 billion coins. At number two from Jules12135, a career high Clayton Kershaw worth 5.388 billion coins. Slightly lower total value, but from one card versus five cards, the Kershaw pull definitely seems to be better in my opinion. And at number one, Two people actually had this poll, both William and Thomas underscore 8,500. A career high Andrew Miller, which his value on one submission is 5.7 billion. The other is 5.5 billion. Either way, over 5 billion coins for the reliever. And I know Andrew Miller's price has been a little bit higher than that Kershaw in general. Yeah, there were a lot of good pulls this week, a lot of coin value. The reason for that, player values were inflated because there was a glitch with the Father's Day hats where players were able to hack, get a bunch of legends, boost their legends, use the extra legends to sell for coins, and then use all these free coins they got to just buy up players they wanted to get so they could have an all plus 10 team. What it did, it took cards off the market and rapidly increased prices, so that's why they got rid of the selling cards back to the game feature for the time being, is to undo the ramifications of that hack the best they can and fix the market again. Well, that's going to just about do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. There were a lot of submissions, so apologies if I spent less time per submission. I didn't want the video to get too long, though. That being said, if you enjoyed the video, I encourage you to leave a like. If you're new around here, I encourage you to subscribe for more MLB Perfect Inning 2018 content. In the comments, let me know your thoughts on how I rank these. Is there anything you thought I got wrong? I tried to do the best I could this week, and I feel pretty good about the rankings this week. Sometimes I'm really not sure, but I feel pretty okay about how I rank things this week. If you want to submit your polls for future top fives, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and Google Hangouts are all great options. Info for all of those is in the description. For Google Hangouts, you literally can use the same account you used to like and comment and subscribe to YouTube channels for Google Hangouts because Google owns YouTube, Google owns Google Hangouts, so it's the same Google account. You don't need to make anything new. It's completely free. You just need the space on a device to download it if you don't have a computer to access it online. But that's it for this video, guys. For real this time, I'm G from Skull Gaming Network. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and as always, peace out.